kwa kuendelea kuwa nasi kama ndivyo kuarifu mwanahabari wetu Jeff Kirui yuko kwenye vikao vya kamati ya nidhamu ya chama cha ODM ambapo baadhi ya viongozi wa chama hicho wameweza kuhojiwa kuhusiana na kuhusika kwao ama wanatokijua kuhusiana na ghasi ambazo zimeshuhudiwa katika maeneo yao katika muda usio mrefu tutakao tunaelekea huko ili tuweze kufahamu yaliyosemwa na baadhi ya viongozi na pia kamati hiyo ya nidhamu kama watakuwa wamemaliza vikao hivyo lakini kwanza katika makala yetu ya mwanamke ngangari uh, tutakuwa uh, tunamwangazia mbunge wa Iyala Mbumbi Ngaru ambaye amewahi kuwa meya wa Thika je yeah, alifikaje alipo na kuwa katika chama cha ODM ambacho kilikuwa na upinzani mkubwa katika ngome yake mwanahabari Chipukizi Cecilia Wakesho anaarifu zaidi Jijini Thika County ya Kiambu kwa miaka 35 sasa haya ndio makao rasmi ya mwanamke mea wa kwanza katika eneo la kati. Karibu. Baada ya panda shuka za maisha mzali wa kwanza kwa familia watoto kumi na watatu, Mumbi Ngaru ambaye kwa sasa ni mbunge kwenye Jumuiya Afrika Mashariki alifanikiwa kuchaguliwa kama mea mnamo mwaka 1999. Kibaru anachosema kilikuwa kama kaa la moto resistance ilikuwa inatoka kila pahali na wakati huo dio councils zilikuwa na shida nyingi sana <laughs> yafika iko kwa record wakati huo unmanageable lakini Mungu ni mwema na nili, nili maliza kwa hali ya on a high note sababu wakati huo dio fika was named the best managed municipality in Kenya under my, uh, my leadership. Lakini Mumbi hakukomea hapo. Chama cha upinzani Rainbow kilipokita kambi katika mkoa wa Kati, Mumbi hakusita kujiunga nacho japo alionekana kama amekiuka itikadi za jamii yake. So wakati mmoja nikatumia watu wawili very senior. Kaniambia barua yako ya appointment dio hii. Ya barozi wewe toka kwa hiyo chama. Eh, nikaona barua nikamwangalia kwa uso nikamuuliza ndio tutoe kanu. Si tulikuwa tunaambia wana, wana Kenya pahali pote ambapo tulienda kwamba haya hatutarudia. Alafu wewe unakuja kwa na barua kwangu unaniambia nitoke kwa chama ndio munipatie kazi. Nikamwambia conscience yangu haini kubari ku, ku, kutoka kwa chama sababu ya hiyo kazi kwenye uchaguzi wa mwaka 2007 na nane, Mumbi alikuwa mfuasi mkubwa wa chama cha ODM chini ya kiongozi wake Raila Odinga na licha ya matarajio yake kutaka kuteuliwa kama mbunge kufifia kufuatia kizaa zake kilichoibuka kwenye uchaguzi huo Mumbi hangetikisika I thank my family from the, 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 the bigger family and my nuclear family sababu ya to let me be wasemavyo wahenga mvumilivu hula mbivu mwaka na kumi, mama huyu wa watoto watatu alitunukiwa nafasi ya kuwa mbunge wa jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki japo aliponea kwenye tundu la sindano nusu rakose nafasi hiyo mrengo wa kisiasa aliyoegemea ulionekana kumsaliti amehudumu kwa miaka mitano sasa na anapania kutetea tena nafasi hiyo zamu yao itakapokamilika mwezi Juni mwaka huu to be taught, uh, Kiswahili in Zanzibar kando na tuzo ya kuwa mkufunzi bora zaidi wa kina mama Mumbi anajivunia tuzo ya Order of the Burning Spear alotuzwa na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta mwaka uliopita kwa utenda kazi wake mufti Cecilia wa Kesho Kate Leo Weekend makala ya mwanamkenga angari Kwingine kwa maafisa wa utawala huko na kuru wamewaokoa watoto wawili waliokuwa wametelekezwa na mama yao mzazi hadi kiwango cha kula kinyesi chao watoto hao wenye umri wa miaka miwili na miezi kumi na moja mtawalia wanasemekana kuachwa na mama yao Jacqueline Nyambura anaidaiwa kuwa mraibu wa pombe Nasema aliye na njaa hana aibu ila kwa watoto hawa ambao kwa viwango vyote hawaelewi masaibu waliomo wanadaiwa kulazimika kwa kila kinyesi chao baada ya kutelekezwa na mama ya mzazi bila ya chakula wala msaada wote 
anatoka kwa five ya asubuhi kurudi ni saa saba ya usiku tukiwa kwa nyumba sisi kama majirani umbo zikapigana ya iploti next umbo kupigana tukasikia mtoto akipiga nduru kutoka ni yako katotoka doho tukakachukua tukakarudisha kwa nyumba huo mtoto anakuwa ana, ana njaa mpaka hata anapupu na anakula kinyezi yake so wakati nilingia ndani nilipata mtoto akila kinyesi na ilikuwa mbaya kabisa nilizunika sana kuna mtoto mdogo ambaye hataezi kuongea anaenda haja kubwa anakula kinyesi hapo Sei chumba kichafu baridi kali wala njaa bali mazingira yote kwa watoto hawa wenye umri wa miaka miwili na miezi kumi na mmoja mtawalia ni ya kusikitisha na kustaajabisha Hata mlango kwenye chumba hiki haupo baada ya mwenye nyumba kubomoa kufuatia malimbikizi ya kodi kutoka kwa mama ya watoto hawa Jacqueline Nyambura Babake kuna siku yenye alikuwa amekuja hapa hivi akafight vitambaa sana akisema yeye anafaitia watoto wake awapati chakula. Enyewe hiyo vita tuliamuaga. Tukasema wacha tutachunguza si kama jirani. Tulianza kuchunguza na tukapata ni kweli. Naibu wa chifu katika eneo la Langalanga katika kaunti ya Nakuru George Nganga anasema wasingekuwa maafisa kutoka mpango wa nyumba kumi, watoto hawa wangeokolewa. So nawahimiza wa mama kama uko na shida kwa wako nyumbani kuna alternative kuna ofisi za chief kuna ofisi za watoto mkuje tuweze kushirikiana na sio kutesatesa watoto kama ni kukunywa ulevi wa mama wa mama naomba waache kukunywa kama lazima ukunywe ukunywe kadogo sana na kustaajabisha zaidi ni kwamba mama huyo ambaye kwa sasa anasakwa na polisi anadaiwa kuarifu majirani kwamba unywaji wa pombe ndio njia ya pekee kumwezesha kupata msaada kutoka kwa Isani ambao huonesha ukarimu kila ambapo fedha Shadrack Miti KT News Na mtukiachana na taarifa hiyo turejelee taarifa kuhusiana na vikao vya uh, kamati ya nidhamu ya chama cha ODM ambavyo vimefanyika hii leo uh, mwanahabari wetu Jeff Kirui aliweza kupata uh, kauli ya Fred Athwok ambaye ndiye mwenyekiti wa kamati ya nidhamu ya chama cha ODM na haya ndio aliyosema Hi, good evening. Commissioner, come to the south. Okay, sir. Introduce yourself. We have been going on with this exercise since morning. It is the ODM's disciplinary committee sitting today over the issues of um, the incidents that took place in Migori County, Busia, and um, Tuaraka, and Madari. You will note that uh, ODM received about 6,000 applicants, aspirants, of over 40 counties countrywide ahead of the primaries the party nominations that will kick off as postponed on the 13th next week. Um, actually, it's this week. Um, you will note that out of these 6,000 aspirants, these incidents, uh, the four I've talked about in Migori, Ruaraka, Busia, and Madare, out of uh, 6,000 aspirants who are crisscrossing the constituencies, counties there daily, they may look isolated, but the party takes them very seriously. We have sent out, as a committee, the party has sent out um, monitors out there who are recording and actually taking evidence of the conduct of our members because we want this time round the nominations to be conducted in a very peaceful environment. And um, any person who is found culpable 
who is found to have perpetrated any of these incidents, very stern action will be taken, and the committee will not hesitate. Stern action from expulsion, suspension, reprimand, fining, all manner of action that we will deem fit after this exercise. Uh, we are sending a very stern warning to members of the party who are out there campaigning and their supporters. If you misbehave during your supporters, your, your candidates' campaigns, or you disrupt another's function in the name of your candidate, you are actually spoiling for that candidate because we will not hesitate to deal with the candidate themselves. Because at the end of the day, they are the ones who benefit from this kind of issues. So they may look like there are just four incidents out of over 40 counties that the exercise is going on, but we will not going to hesitate to take serious action. And I trust that the recommendations that will, my committee will make will be very severe. Out of the 18, 16 members that we summoned, governors and, uh, and MPs and, uh, and MCAs members, we have so far finalized about eight who came. Uh, they have honored our summonses. Some are still on the way. We have a program which will run up to eight in the night or, or after. Uh, some are coming from Mombasa. Some are traveling from out, out of, of Nairobi. But they have assured us through our contracts that they are on the way and we will continue the exercise up to a positive conclusion. We still urge our members to conduct themselves with decorum and peace. I can see Professor Nyong has just arrived from, he was not in, in town. I think we will take his evidence from now. I think uh, Governor Joe will be at five or six and um, Honorable um, Ayako and who else? Um, Orengo and uh, Junet. Junet is already here. Uh, Chilayako is confirmed is coming. We have finished with the Honorable Hospital Jamong, and I hear Honorable Tuoma is on the way. So this is our housekeeping exercise, but it is very serious. Uh, the members should take it that we are going to take very serious action. Any questions before we resume? Yes. Nam ni mwenyekiti wa kamati ya nidhamu ya chama cha ODM Fred Azuoka hapo akiwa anaeleza madhumuni ya vikao vya hileo ambapo baadhi ya wanasiasa uh, wanachama wa ODM ambao wameweza kuhojiwa kuhusiana na ghasia ambazo zimeshuhudiwa katika maeneo yao kama alivyosema kuna wengine bado ambao watakuwa wanahojiwa naitwa Mashirima Kapombe asante sana kutazama taarifa za mbio ya KTN hivi uh, sasa na wapisho wana spot kwenye zilizala viwanjani na mentalidi mundo wa saa 12 kwenye jukwaa la KTN endelea kuwa nasi